What's going on guys? Welcome and you are currently watching the first video on my new YouTube fitness channel. And right now you're watching me and my brother do uh, Johnny Candido's six week strength program. Uh, I'm currently on week one, my brother's on week two. So he's going to be lifting significantly heavier than me. But for those who don't know me, my name is Andrew, but you can call me Drew. And uh, for a while I've wanted to start my own fitness channel. Only because I didn't want to bother or shove down people's throats on my Instagram, on my Facebook, on my Tumblr, uh, that I was constantly at the gym, you know. Uh, I showed clips here and there, but I didn't want to just be a, a nuisance, I guess. But anyways, um, yeah, I just, I'm just very passionate about powerlifting and weight training and just being healthy in general. And for the most part, that's what I want to push out is that you have to work out, you know, um, not every single day. You don't have to kill yourself at the gym. You don't have to do one rep maxes at every fucking workout. It's just you have to be active is what I want to push. And my way of being active, however, is just powerlifting and trying to do crazy mad weights in six week cycles. But a little bit more about myself, I guess, is that uh, the reason I got started in weight training is because I was a skinny, fat kid. Um, in high school, I used to be very active. I played basketball. I ran track and field. I boxed. And then um, even before that, I used to play baseball. Um, but then high school, you know, you fuck around and shit doesn't go your way all the damn time. So I ended up in community while my friends left me. And so basically, I was behind. I was um, not on my own. I had friends, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I just let myself go. And I ballooned up to like 165, this 5'8 kid that just had a decent looking gut and, I, and was stuck at community. But then I went and got my shit together. I ended up transferring to UC Davis and living with some homies from Pleasanton and rooming with my best friend. And so in that perspective, life was good. But physically, uh, I didn't ha hold a very high opinion of myself. Um, that is until one of my roommates or housemates decided to take me to the yard. And um, that first workout, I'll never forget it, Jeff, for his size, put up some monster ass numbers and I was just impressed as fuck. And I said to myself, damn, I'm gonna get to that level. And so through his teachings and just um, instructions, I was able to get the form down but eventually, you know, you go in at your own time, you know, scheduling is never right sometimes and you just, you just end up doing your own thing. And for a good year and a half after that, I went into fuck around itis mode. And don't get me wrong, I made some significant gains, but it wasn't uh, what I was looking for. And then physically, I, I would say I looked pretty good. I cut out the weight. Uh, I didn't drink as much. I didn't eat as much. But I, I felt weak every single day and my body felt beat up. And so after that, you know, when you get to that point, shit starts to break down again and you... I don't know, I let myself go again, which is not good. So yeah, I ended up graduating, taking some time off, and was at, not at the same mental or physical state that I was coming into Davis, but 
it was damn near close. And then uh, about six, seven months ago, my brother showed me Johnny Candido's videos and his program, and they were doing it. And their games were impressive as fuck. And then just watching Johnny's videos was ridiculous. And after that, you know, went back on YouTube, found Omar Esau, found Dan Green, found uh, Scott Herman, found who else? Found, found a lot of dudes who, who basically motivated me and told me to get up off your ass and do something about it. So I decided to go on Johnny Candido's um, program and I stripped away all the accessory work except for the ones that his program said to do <laughs> and just focused on the squat, the bench, the deadlift and from there um, life's been good for me. Uh, I, I'm just very into this powerlifting mindset of you don't need to destroy your body every single workout. You can, you can do that in a matter of weeks and cycle through and make your body recover and that's how you're gonna get stronger and I really want to push that and especially to those who have nine to five jobs and they're some of them say oh I'm too tired oh I can't do I can't fit a workout in my day well you know there's other people who who can do it and you just gotta dig deep and say Oh, how bad how bad do I want this and for me I I really want this pretty damn bad and uh, I want to compete I want to get to that level where I'm squatting in the 400s I'm deadlifting 500 I'm benching in the 300s and this video is just a way to get that started and you have to just take that leap of faith I guess so yeah, I just wanted to um, say like and subscribe if you're if you want to follow me and my brother's progress and get an insight get an insight as to how we think about our form and how we approach lifts and um, workout days. Um, we will we're going to try to push content out. Uh, on a weekly or bi-weekly basis and we want to make sure that whatever we push out is correct and in some ways also you know that that bro science uh, some of it can be a bunch of bullshit but other times you know everybody's body is different and they react differently so we'll push whatever um, works if, if it works for us and if you want to give it a try then go for it and if not like then you don't but i hope you enjoyed this first video uh subscribe and like peace